this girl Danielle Cohn going through heartbreaks back to back to back. No man. I'm pretty sure by now you guys all know how Danielle Cohn and her ex-boyfriend Mikey Tua had recently broken up. And despite the dramatic breakups we all had to witness between these two on social media, it looks like this girl Danielle Cohn cannot stop getting herself into dramatic breakups on the internet. Which is honestly extremely sad, you guys. I'm not quite sure if you guys have heard about this, but over the past few years, there has been a rumor going on about Danielle Cohn where people think that she is being forced by her mom to be in relationships for social media. Now, y'all may be wondering what exactly having a social media relationship can benefit in someone's career. And let me just tell you guys that every time Danielle Cohn gets into a relationship on social media, her engagement and following goes up a lot. Which which we all know Danielle Cohn's mom loves. One, two, three, go. Stop! Get Mikey in the live and dance. But this time, you guys, people think these assumptions are no longer assumptions and that Danielle Cohn is actually being forced into relationships that she actually isn't happy in. Aww. And surprisingly, you guys, Danielle Cohn herself decided to come on live recently and explain how she's been feeling with her new relationship with a boy named Mason. If y'all haven't been keeping up with Danielle Cohn recently, she has been in a new relationship with a boy named Mason. Mason is a TikToker who recently got a huge following after people found out that he was in a relationship with with the Danielle Cohn. And I don't know if you guys have been seeing this, but I've noticed that every time a guy gets with Danielle Cohn, their following ends up skyrocketing and then they end up leaving her. Which is honestly so sad since not only is Danielle Cohn super young, but she's been going through this for years, you guys, with many other boys throughout her entire social media career. Not only has she been heartbroken with Mikey Tua, Ethan Fair, but now she's decided to speak out about how she's been extremely sad after she found out that her boyfriend Mason ended up ditching her while she went out of her way to fly all the way to Tennessee just to see him. Oh my god. Danielle ended up going on Instagram Live just a few days after her trip and when she flew back to Los Angeles, she decided to go on her Instagram Live and seemed extremely sad and upset about the whole situation. A ton of Danielle's fans started asking her what was wrong and she finally decided to spill the tea and a lot of people you guys felt really bad for her. Here's what happens is like people will treat me like a queen and then when they get me, and they think I'm wrapped around their finger, they don't treat me like a queen no more. And they treat me like I'm just any girl. What are you supposed to do when that's how it is? I was in Nashville. I flew to Tennessee to see him, um, but didn't see him really. Um, so I'm like two days out of five days I was there. And I flew there to surprise him, so yeah. I was Tennessee, it was so bad. I literally flew there for someone and I didn't even see them. I don't know, I texted him. I don't know, he hasn't answered, so I don't know what he's doing. Everyone was asking too, they were just like, oh, why am I supposed to make it? Because I didn't see him. Is she crying? No, I was definitely not crying before I got on this. I definitely have not cried today. That was such a lie. But I'm confused, and what's happened? Did something happen with her and Mason? Long story short, she went to Tennessee to see Mason for five days, but he only spent time with her two out of the five days, and ghosted her for the other three days. I cannot with the amount of breakups this poor girl has to go through on social media. Moving on to the next topic of today's video, you guys, we need to talk about the only TikTok relationship that has made it this far in the history of TikTok relationships. Yeah, guys, we're talking about none other than Noah Beck and Dixie D'Amelio. I know there hasn't been much drama in TikTok relationships recently, but let me just tell you guys that over these past few months, no other TikTok relationship other than Noah Beck and Dixie D'Amelio has been getting a ton of speculations about their breakup and the fact that they're even pregnant. Yeah, where do y'all even come up with this stuff? This specific time, you guys, Noah Beck decided to stick up for Dixie D'Amelio and his relationship with her and make a public statement asking everyone to stop making speculations about his relationship with Dixie D'Amelio and how it's getting completely out of hand at this point. 
And I honestly don't blame Noah Beck for speaking out about this, since even though they are public figures on social media with millions of followers and a ton of eyes on them, it does not excuse the fact that people should be making speculations about their relationship to the point where it could actually end up in a breakup. I'm sure none of us would want that with our own relationships. Now come on now! So, I'm not quite sure if you guys have noticed about anything about Noah Beck and Dixie D'Amelio's relationship, but if you have been keeping up with their relationship, then you know that they haven't been seen together on social media as often. Which was obviously suspicious as hell, because if you guys have been keeping up with the beginning of Noah and Dixie's relationship, then you would know that they would be together on social media almost every single day, you guys. And they would even go on Instagram lives together almost every week just to update their fans. But now that they haven't been seen together as often anymore, there's obviously been a ton of rumors and some rumors that are even having Dixie and Noah extremely concerned. Such as people assuming that they've broken up, that Noah has cheated on her, and even that Dixie could be pregnant. Yeah. I'm not kidding, you guys. So, with all that being said, the paparazzi ended up meeting up with Dixie D'Amelio to finally ask her the question of whether her and Noah were even together anymore. And even though she said that they were still together, she said that they've been completely busy, which is why they haven't been seen together as much. How are you and Noah doing? We haven't seen you guys together in a while. Well, in LA. Yeah. We're good, we've both just been really busy recently. Right. Even Noah himself decided to publicly come up with a statement addressing all these rumors and accusations about his relationship with Dixie D'Amelio and how they could be broken up. I'm sorry I haven't been as active or even myself lately. There has just been some personal things that I have been dealing with, but I hate to see when I come on here that people assume things about my relationship. Dixie Slammer is not tolerated here, lol. Please do not bring others down based off assumptions. We have both been very busy busy with work, personal reasons, etc. Dixie and I love every one of you guys, but it is a lot of pressure to be dating with this many people watching. That being said, we would like to keep the majority of our relationship offline for now. I hope you guys can respect that. We love you guys so much. Yeah, that's enough of Dixie and Noah's relationship, and now we need to talk about none other than Billy. It's crazy to me that Billie Eilish is getting into so many controversies in just a month, you guys. First, it was her music video drama, then it was her boyfriend, and then it was her allegedly queer baiting. But the list didn't end there with Billie Eilish this month, you guys, because now she is getting canceled for... Just guess. She's getting canceled for deciding to paint the CDs that she wants to sell to her fans. Wow. How are people mad about this? If I was a Billie Eilish stan, I would be happy knowing that her own hands painted that CD for me. But apparently, you guys, thousands of people are upset over this. Just to give you guys a backstory on Billie Eilish and the recent merch she's decided to sell out, which isn't the first controversy she's had with merch, since we all remember that she also got canceled for selling her merchandise for super expensive. But this time, you guys, Billie Eilish decided to sell CDs for her new single called happier than ever. Here's what she had tweeted for her fan base. Shop limited edition splatter painted happier than ever CDs. Hand painted by Billy. Available in limited quantities now. Each album cover is one of a kind. No two are the same. Billy followed up this promotion for her merchandise by making a video where she thought it'd be a good idea to splat paint using her own hands all over these CDs. Which some people went crazy about, but others found disrespectful as hell. Shortly after Billy had posted this promotional video promoting her merchandise, thousands of people started bashing her for this idea and even started coming for her own management team saying things like, At Billie Eilish, there is no real way to verify the CD was painted by Billie. People can just make fake ones. Her team didn't think this through. No. Cause Miss Billie, you think splattering white paint on your CDs is gonna make your music better? WTF and you call this deluxe. Girl, please. Hand painted? You didn't even touch them. I'm crying. 
It's not that creative, it's just lazy. This isn't unique. It's also super easy to create and people can scam others. While if she signed them, it would have been limited edition and would be difficult to replicate. So yeah, people basically thought Billie only made this video just to get her sales up even higher. Anywho, I definitely want to know what you guys think about Billie Eilish getting canceled for splattering paint on her CDs. Do you guys think she was just going to scam her fans? Or do you actually think all her fans would have received paint splattered by Billy. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I love y'all so much and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.